Good morning, America. Mike Morini, your favorite write-in candidate for the 2024 presidential race. A rather fair question was asked of me in the comment section about what do I do for a living. Well, I'm soon to be laid off, so I'm soon to be doing YouTube videos for a living here. Uh, jokes aside, I, I don't really want to get into who I work for. I'm not going to get into who I work for because my politics are mine. And the people I work for, they don't necessarily share my politics. And I don't want things to get confused as to what their politics are. I work for a company that handles security and I am a supervisor. So I actually supervise the people who do the security related things that we do. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Now, my first job that I ever had um, was the Army, actually, uh, active duty Army, where I was on active duty, stationed at Fort Bragg, now Fort Liberty, down in North Carolina as a paratrooper for a psychological operations battalion. I was a commo job back then, but I got interested in psychological operations. So I left active duty, and I thought I was going to make lots of money on the civilian side with this all this training and experience I had. Turned out not to be true, kind of like that great American lie that is the uh, higher institution uh, college program with those student loans and worthless degrees that they seem to be putting out. Not to say it doesn't help. Anyway, I found myself in a position where I needed to get a little bit more education, so I went to college for a little while. Um, then found myself back in the Army in the form of the Army Reserve actually doing psychological operations this time. And a deployment to Iraq kind of um, upset that. And I found that, you know, trying to, to make it through life as, uh, let's see, I had like a bunch of jobs in that time frame. I, I worked uh, as a reserve. I had my reserve job as well as trying to go to school. But I also had a job as uh, working for UPS as a package um handler, sorting packages in the, in the mornings. I was a mechanic. I was a professional dog walker for a while. Surprisingly, that made a lot of money for me. Um, um, you know, I was, I worked for myself for a while as a house painter. I did landscaping, you know, a little bit of construction here and there. I, I feel like I've done just about everything under the sun. I delved into, I was working for the TSA for a while. I did a little bit of bounty hunting of all things. Like if you think of dog, the bounty hunter, that was me working for a bondsman. Um, and, you know, I kind of just worked my, uh, ended up in a, with a company that does security because I kind of gravitate towards that kind of things anyway. And yeah, now I'm about to get laid off, so I'm about to be unemployed. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. And I think that this really shows that I have kind of a normal background. I, I was certainly not born with a silver spoon in my mouth. And I've kind of seen where, you know, people come from. You know, I am where people come from. You know, uh, I know what it is to, to struggle here and there. I, I mean, fortunately, I'm in a, a place financially as an adult that, you know, I'm not that worried about getting laid off. Um, but ultimately, I mean, this is a, a problem that many Americans face, and especially in an economy like this, where it's, you know, it's, it's not good out there. Um, and that's, that's where I, I get this, I'm in the trenches with you. I mean, you, you think of like Donald Trump, uh, you know, this guy was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, you know, um, I'll make the joke again. That's the thing that he and I have in common, um, where his dad gave him uh, a small loan of a million dollars when he became an adult. My dad gave me a small loan of nothing to start out life. Um, and that's how most people out there start their lives. Uh, Trump went into the family business of real estate. I went into working for my Uncle Sam. Always an option for everyone out there. Uh, you know, and, and that's where I'm at. <laughs> I'm one of you. And that's I'm fed up with everything that's going on out there. This is why I keep saying, you know, get involved in politics. Get involved at, you know, your, your party at the lowest, absolute lowest level. Because if you don't, you're going to be subject to 
the psychopaths and the power hungry people who will go out there and, and actually show up to these meetings and insert themselves into these positions to potentially get leadership positions. You think about Joe Biden, 40 years, more than 40 years, he's been in politics. That guy has been in politics in a position of authority and power, one form or another, longer than I have been alive. And I'm 42 years old. Let that sink in. Politics and our, you know, our, our legislature are not supposed to be retirement programs. They're not supposed to be careers. These are civic duties that we are supposed to be undertaking, you know, as actually kind of like as a hardship, not as a career path. You know, you should be getting into politics because you don't want to leave it to the people who aren't as good as you. And, you know, frankly, that's that's where I'm at right now is I'm fed up with, you know, these two and the people like them that are potentially that could potentially step into the White House. Um, you know, I'm not a major critic of Kennedy right now, but I will say that I feel like Kennedy is also something that's wrong with this country because he's part of a dynasty of Kennedys. Everyone recognizes the Kennedy name, whether it's, you know, a congressman or a president. You know, there's been a Kennedy in power in one form or another for several generations at this point. We're a constitutional republic. And it seems like we're starting to have royal bloodlines, and I'm not okay with that. Same thing with the Bushes. You know, the family business for the Bushes, apart from oil, is uh, politics. That's not cool. Anyway, I hope this video finds you well. I hope I answered your question. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think... I know there's a risk of someone, like, judging me for what job I have and what I do for a living. I don't care. Like I said, you know, I'm a regular guy. And that's the premise of this, apart from, hey, get out there and get involved, is I'm a regular guy trying to step into the shoes of uh, <laughs> the most powerful office in the world. God bless America. Like, subscribe. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down down there. It was there, 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 wherever it is. I don't I haven't watched YouTube in a while. Hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and share. Morini 2024. Oh, no. My remote shut off. I don't edit my videos because I don't care. I mean, I care, but, you know, I want you guys to see the real me.